Hey guys, Griever here with your latest Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom Joey Lock. Now, I know none of you really expected another Joey Lock episode because guess what? We nearly died and we should have died, but now we are back. So, without further ado, let's get underway with the mission Minion of Darkness. Now, in this mission, we will get more monsters, I believe, but uh, let's not talk about that. Let's just get underway. Barely escaping from Odeon, the Black Dragon Squad had little choice but to flee from the larger enemy force. But Ishtar gave much faster pursuit than they had anticipated. He finally caught them in the beastly Badlands. They've got nowhere left to run. Could their heroic resistance be at an end? Alright, so clearly we can't use anybody here. Nobody's allowed. But we have to replace Panther Warrior, who we lose to Legendary Swords and Red Medicine with. Um, yeah, tough call. I'd like to stick to the warrior theme, but guess what? We lost most of our warriors. Um, looking at our options, we have Tiger Axe. And, I mean, Celtic Guardian, what are, what are you at? What are you at right now? 48, that's not bad. 48, I could I could work with a 48. I really could, I could work with a 48. Um, assuming that I have the... Let's see. I don't have any legendary swords to give him, though. Um, and I don't think I've misplaced any legendary swords on anybody else. Uh... Tiger Axe already went through. Yeah, no. Nobody else has them, so... That might be a bad choice, actually. Um, might have to... At least Red Eyes. Red Eyes with... with uh, I mean... It's better than nothing, right? I mean... What else do we got? Lord of D, but what's Lord of D's level? 30. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing it. Uh, what's what's Tiger Axe actually at? 52, but with no legendary swords. God damn it. Alright, well, uh... Why don't we take some medicines from some other guys and go from there? Uh, I know Bakori Box still has some items. What does he got? Nothing I can use. That's great. Uh, Barrel Dragon, what do you got? Alright, there's some... There's some stuff. Let's, uh, let's utilize Tiger X. Let's keep the theme going here. And uh, we'll only give him blue medicine because uh, if we lose him, we're in shit. So uh, even though everyone else has to go, we cannot utilize any of these teams. So let's uh, X out the ones we can't use anyways um, with guys we've never used. The Battle Ox. Now this is not to say, like, I can use Crawling Dragon and Battle Ox, it's just that they are the replacement monster right now. Same with Swordsman, Swordsman from a Foreign Land. They're the replacement ones because the other members have to go. So alright, let's, uh, let's get underway. With Minion of Darkness. Joey! We can't seem to lose them! What do we do now? Poor Tristan. Poor, poor Tristan. We keep running, that's what! What else can we do? But if we don't take some of them out now, they'll have us completely surrounded. I didn't think they'd really follow us out here. They're too darn persistent. So Joey's forces free the air shrine, Joey's team is wiped out, research skill falls to the enemy, standard shit, I'm sure you all know the drill. Now, uh, I just want to point out because I couldn't do it at the beginning of the video, I suppose I could have re-recorded, but uh, I did manage to find um, some 
original footage with the audio. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I uh, had this on kind of a hiatus along with my Animal Crossing Let's Play because I recorded about 19 hours worth of footage uh, over the span of a weekend. I got a lot done, and uh, what happened? Well, I guess, it, I mean, it was plugged in, but I guess it didn't record any of my voiceover. Uh, it recorded the game audio and the footage, but nothing actually got saved on the audio side of things. I have that fixed now. It should be working. Uh, I'll know when I go to uh, edit this. Uh, it was actually Warrior of Dark, who I want to extend a thank you to for getting me off my ass. And see, guys, it only takes one, one comment to say, hey, you know, I like your series and I want to, uh, you know, I want to watch it, but I, you know, I don't want to watch a half, a half series and never see the end. So, uh, you know, can you get off your ass and get it done? So thank you very much, Warrior of Dark. Um, I hope I'm saying your uh, handle there on YouTube right. Uh, so, yeah, let's just kind of get underway here. Um, and hopefully I'll have one or two of these out uh, this week and uh, yeah continuing on but it was very daunting you know losing so much footage right uh, or so much audio uh, and uh, so I'm a little rusty at this I'm just gonna have to re-record the old video because of course I saved over the game so I can't just go back to this level and and, and just do the level again or anything I probably would have done that had that been the case but uh, it was very daunting to uh, re-record of course um, I believe here is where I don't put in a healer. I put in a cannon or something. Oh, no, I do put in a healer. Why did I do that? Oh, of course, because I can't actually use uh, any of the three guys there. Tristan and the other two. Uh, I forget their names. One's very long, like Melanie Luca or something like that. Um, yeah, so I put in a cannon, I believe, and a healer so that uh, Joey can deal with the team all on his own. Because we lost Panther Warrior, I remember. Um... We still have Flame Swordsman and Axe Raider, but it was a very, it was a very terrible mission last time. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, that this one goes much better. We do not wish to spill blood needlessly. Surrender. Oh, Ishizu. Let's see what's going on here. So, I believe, yeah, Valhalla Arrow. Valhalla. Yeah, Norse shit. And a Magician of Faith with a Rainbow Blast, and it's got the Orion the Battle King there as well. It's going to wait. Uh, what do I do here? That's a good question. Oh yes, of course. Do the standard thing, check for healing items, no point in attacking if that's the case. I believe I go after the Magician of Faith because of the low amount of life points. Um, and I do. I also Salamandra. Do I hit everybody? I do. Cool. So now Magician of Faith is really... Uh, did I miss? No, I hit. Just kind of weak right now. 494, so I can probably finish him off right here and now. Okay, I don't do Salamander because, of course, we had a guarding on the, uh... I don't know what that monster's called, actually. The Valhalla. The one in the middle of the Valhalla arrow. One. Uh... That's just my poor Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge. So, let's see. Axe Raider's probably gonna attack Orion the Battle King, I would imagine. Yes, and that is the case. Uh, and Tiger Axe will probably do the same thing. Now, Tiger Axe, of course, is quite a bit weaker. Uh, I don't believe I managed to get any legendary swords. We lost a lot of decent items, uh, when I kind of got nearly wiped out in the previous mission, which I believe was Pursuit. I could be wrong. Uh, I tried to do some knowledge beforehand, but of course, you know, trying to get these out and trying to time manage, you know, when I can do a, a long recording, you know, like 30, 40 minutes at a time without pausing, uh, you know, without interruption in the house. It's kind of a little difficult sometimes. Uh, so I don't have a whole lot of, uh, window of, window of opportunity, so I can't always do the amount of research I should. And of course, this is a re-recording because of an audio fuck-up, you know, so. Uh, and we seem to be doing pretty well. I think we'll kill this thing. Actually, I'm almost positive we're gonna wipe out a Shizu right here. Oh yeah, we have we have six more AP points, and I am healing up. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm playing it very safe, of course, because there's about probably four or five marshals headed my way, plus Ishizu here. Um, healing, of course. The good thing is is that I have a lot of money saved up, um, so I can use healing pretty much as much as I want. 
as much as, you know, I can't blame it. Oh, I didn't have enough money on healing. No, no, no. If I die, it's because, you know. And actually, as I said before, I haven't checked the audio, uh, the video files. Um, I don't believe I die in this mission. I believe there's at least one more recording or there must be a few more, actually. There's only five missions left, including this one of the Joey campaign. So... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100%. Oh, I hate those bastards, those crimson sunbird pricks. Ugh. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how far I make it or who actually survives. Clearly, Joey must survive for a couple more missions because I definitely had more audio recordings. Um, or more footage, but I mean, that could have been from... I, I was trying another game that was recommended to me. I forget the title, I'm sorry. Uh... And I was also doing, of course, a lot of Animal Crossing. Let's play. I was trying to catch up on some Animal Crossing by skipping a day and then, you know, fast forwarding the day and doing another video and just trying to get a lot done there. Of course, none of that matters because there, I lost mostly Animal Crossing footage, I'll admit, but I lost at least three hours of this as well, three to four hours. Uh, depending on how many video files. See, I don't actually see the tabs. Uh, it just shows me, you know, video, you know, 2017 recorded date. That's how my videos are saved off of FRAP, so I don't actually see the game uh, file, and I d didn't bother checking the thumbnails to see if it's. It's usually just a black screen anyway, because I usually hit record, you know, at the very beginning, and most games start off with a black screen. So, anyways, let's focus. Let's focus on the duel. Uh, Tiger Axe looks like he's going down. Uh, I'd rather not lose him because I remember. Having some, having a struggle, trying to uh, tr trying to find someone to fill in Panther Warrior's spot, and uh, you know, if I keep losing guys, you know, they're gonna get stronger, and my roster is gonna be weaker. You know, Flame Swordsman can't do all the work, and if I end up, you know, from a bad play or something, losing him or Axe Raider for that matter, you know, Flame Swordsman is kind of the reason I'm is the only reason I I'm probably gonna win this. Um, yeah, I must win this. I know I got farther than this, so I must win. Uh, I might lose Flame Swordsman, I don't know. I don't really remember. I decided not to spoil it for myself. I decided to be intense while I watch my poor gameplay decisions. Um, I assume someone's on guard, otherwise I wouldn't wait. Oh no, I'm thinking about healing up. Uh, no, I go for the Salamandra. Of course, I miss one. And the other, yeah. That was, that was not a good call. Of course, how, how do you know you're going to miss? You know, how do you know you're going to miss two guys, you know? The, the whole idea is to hit all three, you know? And of course, I keep missing. It's, uh, it's very unfortunate, actually. And of course, right now, I keep getting uh, the Fraps notification thing, because it likes to stay. You know, I'm trying to watch this full screen so I see everything but of course the the, the far right uh, far right phoenix bird there the chicken is kind of blocked from view right now so if I do damage or miss I have to kind of watch the uh, watch the top because um, I was stupid when I got, I got eager to record and then uh, yeah this kind of happened so now it's going to be a healing yeah I got it's it's more of a survival game right now I don't have enough, uh, I really don't have enough AP to take him down. Now, I probably, do I attack? Now, why would I attack? Get, oh, well, yeah, okay, getting rid of, spending two AP points to get rid of the other bird makes sense. Um, but now I have to survive a lot of those, assuming that they never go on guard. And I don't have a whole lot of AP to be healing. Ah, come on. I, I gotta heal right here. Oh, I have a Dian Kito the Cure Master. I'd probably end up using that. Even though it would be kind of a waste. Yeah. Even though uh, I think it's Axe Raiders at full health. Who is? Yeah, Axe Raiders at full health. And Tiger Axe wasn't that badly hurt, but I don't have a choice. I have two AP to survive all these. Now, if he continues to attack just one, like, if he continues to use Soaring Sun on just Flame Swordsman, I can keep using weight, 
and then uh, and then start blue menacing. Oh, but for all I know, I lose one of my guys here. But isn't that the exciting part? It's exciting for you guys who haven't seen the video yet. He did go on guard. That was lucky. Um, but this is also good because, you know, I, I don't really know what happens. I know I survive. I do know that. That's kind of a spoiler warning. Uh, I do not lose the Joey Lock here. Um, otherwise, I probably would have gotten this video. If this was going to be the last video, I would have gotten off my ass sooner to do this. Um, I've just been kind of lazy playing more PS4 games and... Uh, as I said, it was very daunting to lose all that footage and then knowing I had to do this, I had to re-record. I couldn't just replay the level and have fun or something. No, no, no. I uh, have to kind of sit down, watch all the footage again. Then I'll have to go into editing and watch all the footage again for editing purposes, of course, you know. Um, and even I know my videos aren't, aren't, aren't great enough to be watching three times in a row in one day. That's, that's, that's a little much. And one last Soaring Sun, and it looks like we survived. Unless there's a crazy critical. And it's on the Flame Swordsman, and... Nope, no crazy criticals there. And we actually won, point-wise, of course. Um, but actually, well, they lost one of their guys, so I mean, it was kind of 3-2 to two at the end. Um, but now, yes, this is why I had Healer. There we go. Just bring everybody up if I can. I think I try to bring. Yeah, I probably tried there to bring Axe Raider up, but I uh, I couldn't. Um, and I'm really hoping actually that the audio, um, because right now I I have the the video muted, so I can just clearly you know audio record voiceover. But uh, the gameplay actually the game audio still recorded when I checked the video file, so it should. I should be able to combine both um, fairly simply. Actually, I know I can if it all works out. And uh, it'll just be playing with the levels a little bit, but uh, that actually might make the audio a little better uh, than usual, whereas I'm usually, I have to kind of tone down the audio so I'm coming through clear on the uh, microphone. And of course, as some of you guys know who were watching my previous videos last month, uh, I got myself a brand new microphone, so isn't that funny? I got myself a Blue Snowball Ice, one of the better microphones on the market. Uh, everyone likes, seems to like the blue products. And, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't, it uh, was you know, of course, me getting all hyper about getting the new, you know, the new microphone. And then, you know, <sighs> it. Uh, I got, I don't know how many videos out, four or five out, and... Uh, and to think I was, I was getting stoked on buying a new camera and everything for the behind the bar reviews as well because uh, I'm using my supposedly HD camera on my Mac Pro book, but uh, oh yeah, we got to attack with Catapult Turtle Assault. Um, yeah, we really got, uh, we got a good chance there to, um, you know, uh, they, they say that there's an HD camera on it, but uh, it, it, I don't think it does because I've noticed that my videos like are not HD quality regardless of like I, re I record what what I record them in cannot be 720 um, it's certainly not 1080 because uh, by the time it gets you know I, I use photo booth maybe that's the problem I'm using an improper program it's not the camera's fault it's the program but uh, it does not take a great video for me um, and by the time of course I get it onto this computer and uh, rec and then edit it it it's it's not it's not terrible quality, but it's not HD. It, it's probably 40 80p, um, a little blurry at times. Sometimes it's worse, and you know. So clearly, we didn't have a problem with that uh, that little thing because the catapult turtle assault really uh, came through for us there. Um, there wasn't any. There's not really any danger. The the only su time there's any real danger. Germ infection doesn't bother me. It's those Raimis and stuff that the faceless mage sometimes carry. And I believe sometimes they carry uh, Final Flame along with uh, Raigeki, which once again I'm probably saying that wrong. There's a lot of things I I say wrong. And I know I do, but no one corrects me either. So. If you have a problem with my pronunciation, uh, I can change it if I think that it's 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 possibly incorrect. Um, like Raigeki, the 
lightning spell from the Legend of Blue Eyes uh, booster packs. Um, destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Um, because I'm not confident that I'm saying that right, but I've never heard anybody say it. You know, it's, I don't remember it being said in the show, especially not the early seasons. After Battle City, I kind of stopped watching, so there is that. Uh, I tried to get into a little bit of uh, Dual Academy, GX, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I didn't really get into 5Ds. I watched that special movie on Netflix with uh, Jaden and uh, Yugi and, um, oh, what's his name, Yusuke, I think, uh, all at the same time dueling. That was kind of cool and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't really... Uh, I stopped watching the anime shortly after Battle City. Now, of course, I said German infection wouldn't be a problem or anything, but, uh, you know, right now I got two guys paralyzed, and at least I think so. Eye of Bewilderment. Yeah, see, that's another problem. They got the Eye of Bewilderment now. I'm under the impression that that does the same thing. That's just a paralyzation thing or something, because when he uses it, it doesn't seem to actually do anything to me where I'm already paralyzed and infected, excuse me. Um, or it could be the infection. I'm not sure which one. I figured it out. I, I almost keenly remember doing this video and figuring out what the hell is this Eye of Bewilderment doing and then realizing I already had some status effects, so I probably can't tell which one it does. And I believe I just looked it up later online to see what Faceless Mage special was. Um, it's quite funny that, uh, you know, popular monsters like Panther Warrior, Axe Raider, um, oh, I can't think of others, uh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon maybe. I'm not 100% on that one, don't quote me. But uh, it's funny that some of the more popular ones don't have a special wall. Guys like Faceless Mage, uh, Fairy's Gift, uh, Hain Hain. Like, they have specials, and it, it, it's quite funny to me. Um, and at first I thought it was, okay, well, Hain Hain and Effect Monster stuff, you know, it'd be like Trap Master, he would have, you know, st kind of a... And Trap Master, not even in this game. I always liked the Trap Master. You know, I, I gotta remember back when, you know, the Yugi and Kaiba decks were new here in America. Like, Metal Raiders was the new was the new booster set long before Magic Ruler, back when they called them Magic Cards, not Spell Cards, and all that stuff. Um, I remember liking the Trap Master ability and using it. Um, now I probably used it incorrectly because, you know, you're a kid, you watch the show, then you read the rules and you're like, no, this doesn't sound right. Then they started tribute summing in Battle City and then it was like, oh, that is how we're supposed to play. Um, it's like, you mean I can't just pull out my, you know, Dark Magician? That, that's not fair. You know, um, makes sen more sense why, uh, why everything was so much more balanced in their starter decks and stuff and you know but you're a kid you don't really want to read the rule books you've seen the show you can play like the show you know that was part of the problem with the with the anime and the manga series is that they they changed the game way too much and I mean I know it was supposed to be fun and easy to follow for the kids but uh, you know by the second season the Battle City arc and all that they I mean, they in introduced Dungeon Dice Monsters to Filler. I believe it was Filler anyways. And then they they introduced, uh, you know, like they had Toon World and all that stuff uh, before that. And then they, uh, yeah, like, like they, they treated their kids like the kids that were going to watch it. Kind of like they were stupid in a sense. Um, or too stupid to understand. And then they were like, oh, well, maybe our, the kids will get it. So let's bring in half the rules, not all the rules. Uh, we'll still do 4,000. Like, I understand the inclusion of 2,000 life points, but in any duel, regardless, even back with the Kaiba and Yugi starter deck, you could easily do well over 2,000 damage. Um, I mean, they made it work. They did make it work, but, uh, I mean, of course, they didn't follow a single rule of summoning or anything, so. I mean, they couldn't. They couldn't have done it that way, like, just the way it played out, so. And I'm sorry I'm not really commenting on the uh, on the battles here, guys, but it seems like it's, it's a little boring because I seem to have enough time to kind of fully heal up with the healing uh, equipment that I bought. Um, and these guys don't have any real healing items to their name. Nobody with a special. 
the German faction Sagis are gone, um, and I'm just dealing with a couple of high attackers here. Some Skull didn't have much in the way of AP anyways. Neither did uh, the Dragon Seek. And one more Flaming War Sword should do it. Yep. Cool. So I'm winning like a boss here. We don't seem to be losing anybody. And I get to level 90 and I gain another AP point. So that's awesome. So now Flame Swordsman's going to be able to attack even more. So now we got to get into the healing aspect here. And Axe Raider. And then I believe there's still one more. Yeah. Do I wait for him? I'm almost positive I do. That's got to be Odeon. Yeah. Odeon, I believe I wait because the last thing I want to do is probably come out, attack, and then, you know, he gets behind me. Or maybe I'm stupid. No, I, I, I stay smart. And then I guess, who, who the hell is down there? Merrick. Oh, so I do fight Merrick in this one. Mm-hmm. Knight Adept, level 3 magic. They do have specials. See, the Dark Elves have specials. Um, I don't imagine he has Winged Dragon or Raw yet. I believe that's near the end. So let's see what happens. Mystical Beast Circuit. The embodiment of a... You will pay for your insult. Last encounter, Joey. Okay, let's get it on like Donkey Kong. And Odeon, 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 what are you gonna do? You got these assholes, of course, with their guardian blades. And now, yeah, I got a shit ton of AP points on uh, Flame Swordsman now, so this should be, uh, this should be pretty sweet. We'll just use Axe Raider and Tiger Axe to kind of clean up a little bit and we'll just use uh, some salamanders to do the bulk of the damage. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, attack. Okay, we're gonna go after one of the embodiments there. I mean, why not? Tribute soul. I'm not sure what that does. Probably increases attack and defense or something like that. X Raider takes a hit, but now he can kill that uh, embodiment, can't he? And for some reason I don't. He must have went on guard when I wasn't looking. Or, oh, well now he goes on guard. I was probably waiting for uh, Tiger X because he can do 229. But we'll do a Salamandra, and then we'll attack. It should have broken the guard. Of course it didn't. Even though it did damage, the special does not break the guard. And it's got 18 life points. You gotta be kidding me. 18 life points. Now, let's see what... And that one's got 151. Like, Jesus. Did all this damage for no good reason. That should do it. There we go. We got rid of one. Tiger Axe should be able to get rid of the other. And I shouldn't need to use my special, so it's just flaming war swords for days here. Relinquished Eater. Now, I'll probably have to heal up to be safe. Oh, yes. Yes. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, he's got no AP. Alright. <laughs> thought I was being stupid there for a second. Not that it ha probably hasn't happened in this mission, but uh, I must have been watching the AP for that. And we get some level gains. Tigrax is getting up there, getting up there, but we need probably another 10, 15 levels to make him really viable. A legendary sword would really come in handy too. Okay, so we're going to heal up here and then uh, probably go attack Merrick. We got no other choice. And now we start the long road towards Merrick. Which is fine. 
So actually, I bought a uh, Legendary Collection Yugi's World um, this week or last week, I should say. Um, for those of you who don't know, that includes 300 plus cards, uh, all based on Yugi, Pegasus, uh, not so much Kaiba or Joey, because I believe they have uh, their cards are in the uh, their own collections. I know Expansion World. World 4 is, uh, Legendary World 4 is Joey, I believe 5 is Kaiba, or 1 might be Kaiba, I don't know, um, I've never seen the Kaiba at, uh, Walmarts or something here, I've seen the Joey's World, but I love all the Yugi cards, especially since, uh, I actually, um, I opened them and I got a lot of really good ones, I've bought, I think, 5 or 6 total, uh, but I haven't bought one in over a year. Uh, they stopped selling them for some reason. They just weren't ever there. And then all of a sudden I was at Walmart for something else for camping. And uh, there they were. So I, I resisted and didn't buy them all. I bought one. And uh, lo and behold, I got the Exodia the Forbidden One. I got the Head of Exodia. Which never had before. Still looks badass. Um, so that was really, really cool. I already have uh, one of the legs and the one of the arms as well. Uh from previous sets, so uh, I just need two more, and then I'll have Exodia. Not that you can use it in a duel or anything. I haven't dueled in forever, but uh, yeah, we're going to get killed out here. Is what Joey says. Boss, the enemy is being attacked from behind. They're totally disoriented. What's this? You left yourself wide open, Merrick, for my breast attack. <laughs> What's the matter, Joey? Having trouble? Be glad I've come to save you. Everything's going to be alright now. Well, at least hopefully my joins our team and we get a new marshal. Ugh. That meddlesome witch. She's a witch? Hey Merrick, thanks for letting me split your army in half like my breasts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I come up with this shit. We've got you completely surrounded. You're the one with nowhere to run now, except into my breasts. It's time to clean up this Imperial Riff Raff, Joey. I'll take this half. The rest is yours. Thanks, my. You heard the lady. Let's go. I don't know what I'm really doing with Merrick's voice yet. Like, he's got that nasally, the power of my millennium rod. But, uh, I'm not that great of impressions anyways, so I kind of take a little liberty with the, uh, bridge series of Yu-Gi-Oh! when I can't come up with a decent one. Uh, if I can't make it sound right, then that's what I do. Um... So yeah, anyways, I, I was really... I, I didn't really get anything else too great, I don't think. I mean, of course, you get your secret rare and your ultra rare and stuff like that for every pack, but uh, nothing that really interests me. Um, what I'd really like to get is a Spellbinding Circle because uh, my cousin stole that from me years ago when we were kids. Because uh, I had an original one from the Magic Ruler or... Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, whichever set had the Spellbinding. It might have been Pharaoh Servant, actually, that had it. But whichever set first came out with the um, Spellbinding Circle, I had it. And I was so happy to have it, and then he stole it from me, and now, I mean, it's gone to the ages now. Very unfortunate. And it looks like uh, Ashizu recovered in time. So now we have to deal with this. Right before our battle, too. Great. I mean, I know they're half health, but... Uh, I really want Flame Swordsman to attack right now. If you're not Flame Swordsman, I would like the Salamandra. Well, we did still kill that to Salamandra anyways. Don't don't play any more sword. What are you stupid? Ugh. Bahala Arrow. So yeah, anyways, um so that was the fun box opening for me. Maybe I should have recorded that. That could have been fun. Uh, would have been cool to open up Exodia the Forbidden One on a YouTube video. That would have been kind of cool. 
Um, I mean, clearly it's not nearly as rare as it used to be. I mean, you can go buy it, but I mean, I don't know how rare it is considering the box sets either, right? I mean, it's still it's still a rare in that set, so it's no different than buying an old box with Legend of Blue Eyes um, boosters in it and getting it, I, I don't think. I mean, it's still 300 plus cards in that set, which is more than Legend of Blue Eyes ever had. So, and Axe gains an AP point, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, anybody who knows anything about it, let me know how much less rare my version is, you know. Hee hee hee, you've got nowhere to go now. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that voice. I gotta, I gotta figure something out. Against Merrick. I also have to move that Fraps window for next time so I can actually see what I'm saying. Okay, no healing items, that's good. So we can just go straight for the attack. With Axe Raider, Tiger Axe, and I assume... Do we get Flame Swordsman? No. Magic Cannon. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to think if I got anything else badass in that, uh, in that set. I got that Dark Knight card. Um, which I guess is rare. Got a lot of doubles of cool cards. Uh, like Summoner Monk and guys like that. Uh, some Gravekeeper guys. Mm. Can't really think of anything, you know, relevant like anything that you uh, elsewise that you use or anything. We do another attack. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, we're doing a fair amount of damage, and now Salamandra. So attack everybody. Seem to, and uh, word of spirit stealing, but we already killed off the uh, Skull Knight there, so who used to be like that was the card to have him and the Sword of Deep Seated and Labyrinth Tank. I mean, those were the cards to have on the playground because high attack and all that shit. Sword of Deep Seated was the equipped card, no one had Horn of the Unicorn. Um, well, back then it wasn't out yet either, so I remember getting my first Horn of the Unicorn. I have two, and uh, that was pretty sick. That was pretty, pretty sick. And we're going to take a magic cannon to the face. We're not going to care because this thing is dead. We decimated Merrick, so that's that's pretty badass. Just gaining levels. All that was was a good level booster, especially for Tigrax here, who's now going to be level 61. 62. Um, you know, we got Flame Swordsman up to 92. I mean, we didn't lose anybody. Probably gained my, so... Lord Merrick, please, if we don't escape now, we'll never make it. Please, we must hurry. I have to say the lines kind of fast. I'll get you for this, Joey. You too, my. You'll both pay dearly for this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that voice. Uh, I don't really know when this video is going to end. I don't know how much time I have left, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for being so patient. Once again, thank you very much, Warrior of Dark, for getting me off my ass. Just took that one comment to say, you know what? Someone wants to watch the video, and... Uh What's up, guys? Griever back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom Let's Play Joey Campaign, or the Joey Lock, if you will. Uh, once again, this is a revoiced over or re-recorded uh, watching post video. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, I don't know how many are left. I think there's one more left after this for sure. And then we'll be back into normal. Uh, just straight video recording. Um, not so, not live, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'll be playing the mission and recording the audio at the same time. I won't have to do it this way. So uh, yeah, without further ado... Thrashing. The mission thrashing. Mai's timely aid helped the Black Dragon Squad survive its toughest battle yet. They shift to guerrilla tactics, which were used very heavily in the 70s uh, in the Vietnam War and stuff. Fun fact. And I must have paused here at some point. Sorry, guys. See, this is what's going to happen. The time is going to be off. The Black Dragon Squad's hit-and-run tactics have the desired effect. Ishtar's forces are visibly fatigued. Joey lures the weakened enemy to the Gigan Siup Strait and boxes them in. Now is the time to strike back. 
This is their last chance to defeat their Imperial pursuers. They need to make this fight count. Okay, so now a little rocky with the timing. As I said, I'm not going to be that great at it. Um, because it is re-recorded. Um, yeah, we're not using any of those bitches. We gotta use my though, it's gonna help to really have another, uh, have another force to be reckoned with, so to speak. Um, now, I have no idea what we're choosing to use here. Um, really? Barrel Dragon? Well, I don't think I have a whole lot of options, I think a lot of guys got killed. Um, but Cory Box, that's not a bad choice. It's not a bad choice. And do I go summon Skull? Yep. Do I really keep Barrel Dragon though? Do I really? Didn't think he was that great. I can't use Buster Blader, I don't think. I think he's already dead. Can't use anybody there that I know of. Maybe Celtic Guardian? Yeah, level 48 though. N not much better. Um, Dark Magician number 2. Okay. Didn't think about that. That actually might be viable. Because... Yeah, because uh, if I train up another Dark Magician, that would actually be really helpful, come to think of it. As I said, I don't know what my thought process here was. Um, let's see. What did I decide on? Oh, I think I was contemplating about the blue eyes. Because I know I have a blue eyes that, uh, you know, I can still use. Uh, I think only one got killed. If, if any. Not really sure. I mean, clearly I remembered back, back then. Yeah, no point in having a monster reborn. They're no good to me. Because this is the Joey Lock. Now I should have some... Oh yeah, I'm loaded with Book of Secret Arts, so I'd probably just load up on those, do I? Two, yeah, probably playing it safe. Some healing abilities. Of course, I have Slife Resorb and the Soul of Obelisk, but I cannot use them. Master of the Egyptian Gods, yep. It's, I, I don't think I said I can't use them, it's just that nobody can use them. Nobody's a Master of the Egyptian Gods in the Joey campaign, as far as I know. Uh, let's see. Add a Black Pendant, sure. I might as well add a Book of Secret Arts because I don't have any more healing items. So it's going to be Bakori Box, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and a Dark Magician number 2 is going to be the my team, it seems. Uh, I think we lost one Blue Eyes. We definitely lost a lot of our other viable options. Buster Blader, um, Blacklist Soldier, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Panther Warrior. Yeah, we lost a lot of guys. Um, so yeah, let's see. Uh, there's no point in changing any of that, is there? What am I doing? Oh yeah, he can't... Oh, I think I'm just checking for any other items on other monsters that uh, weren't killed. I believe Swordstalker was killed. So that was me being stupid. All the Magnet Warriors, once again, me being stupid, they were killed. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll get underway here with Thrashing. I believe. Yes, yes we do. Alright, so... A little rocky there, but uh, we're making it work. It's time to put them into the ground. Is everybody ready? I think everybody's ready. Yep. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. I'm. I'm even. I'm even more ready. Knock it off. When did you two start working for her? I thought I was the leader here. We are, but, well, she's beautiful, boss. We just can't say no to her. Oh, isn't that sweet? How would you like to work for me full-time? 
Really? D do you mean that, ma'am? I said knock it off. While you two were bickering, the enemies arrived. Joy's forces free, gigging ship. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not a huge amount. Well, quite a few officers in that direction, that's for sure. Um, what do I do here? I don't know. We only have two... We gotta leave someone here at the base. I know that much. If not both of them. Oh, I must take mine and go that way. Alright. Um, I'm, oh, I'm an idiot. This might be where we die because they, if they attack the base, see right now those marshals don't count. I just have to bring them along with the monster, but they're, they don't count. If, if they attack the base, I, I lose. So I, I can't afford to uh, do it this way. <laughs> Such a moron. Such a moron. Okay, I, I don't actually like this team, the team, the, not not my team, the, the opposing team. I hated the Parrot Dragon, the Cursed Dragon team, um, the Kaiser Dragon or whatever the damn thing is. Photon Stampede fucking thing. Um, I don't know why, I just, I always got really annoyed facing these teams. They felt like the battles dragged out uh, much, much longer than they should have. Uh, let's see. So how much does a dark magic attack do? Eh, 500 plus. It's not bad. Well, I mean, I have three Book of Secret Arts. You know, even though it's level one, it's three Book of Secret Arts. Now this should do an insane amount. Yep. Almost 800 damage, because the Cory Box, on the other hand, is not level one. Uh, let's see. Destructive Burst Stream. Alright. Alright, alright, alright nearly kill off the Cursed Dragon, but of course Blue Eyes is not that strong by himself. No dragon uh, boosting items. 300. Shadow Flame. Um, Dark Magician number 2. I'll be surprised if I don't lose him, because level 1, so weak. You know. I have to survive a few battles, you know, get them up to, like, into the 20s to even be viable, really. It's more like a training exercise than anything else. Abyss Crown. And that does, of course, another 700 damage, so that's good. Went on guard, of course. Uh, here's where I believe we use a blue medicine. Yep, on Dark Magician number two. Make sure we don't lose him if we can help it. Uh, let's see what we do here. Picori Box. This goes on attack with an Abyss Crown to the Parrot Dragon, it looks like. I mean, the other one's on guard, so makes sense. 859 damage. Now that's a good hit. That's a very, very good hit. Now... Who do I attack? Yep, yeah, okay, Parrot Dragon it is. There we go. 394 damage and a Hot Tunes as a counterattack to the Cory Box. Now there's a Photon Stampede headed my way, or more accurately, the Cory Box's way. And let's see what happens here. Uh, well, I can use an Abyss Crown, and, uh, see what that does. And that will not take out the Parrot Dragon, of course, but we're set up to do so. Uh, probably gonna use a Blue Medicine here. Yep, probably on Bakori Box. And then I'll use Bakori Box to finish off the Parrot Dragon and damage most of the Kaiser Dragon. The problem is, is that... Now, I'll have won the battle, and then we're going to switch positions, so i got to be very, very quick about this, so that uh, that thing does not reach, does not reach the, uh, the base. Let's see. And we have an Abyss Crown. Finish off Parrot Dragon. And now, uh, one attack is nowhere near going to take this thing out. 20,000 plus, 21,000 plus. 
points, but... 747. If I lose to that damn thing, if that thing reaches there. Dark Magician went up to level 14, so I, you know, that's... That's quite a bit. 13 levels in one battle. Go. Yes, alright, I made it. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Uh, but now I'll easily be able to take this thing out with two attacks. Dark Magician should be able to do about 500 damage. 500. Uh, of course, he does get one attack in. Uh, but Blue Eyes or Bikori Box can easily take out the remaining damage. And then that is... Oh, shit. What a critical. Now I'm going to have to heal before I attack that other base. Because Pecori Box and Dark Magician number 2 both need it. But Dark Magician gains 3 levels along with gaining another AP point. So, And that's the big thing. You want to stack up some AP points so that uh, you know, use a lot more. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to go all the way to the base just in case I get a little railroaded. Don't want to lose my. Do not want to lose her. Let's see what we got going on here. Alright, same bullshit team. So this time we have Joey's team. With the Flame Swordsman. Of course we had a guard there, so... We'll go after the Parrot Dragon. Nice. A lot of damage, actually, and probably will do Salamandra anyways. Which I do. Still does a little bit of damage to uh, the Curse of Dragon, even though he was on guard. Photon Stampede. How much is that going to do? 300. That's not terrible. Of course, Curse of Dragon once again goes on guard, so it'll be more attacks to the Parrot Dragon. Tiger Axe takes 480, and then Axe Raider is going to probably attack that Parrot Dragon. And I miss. Yay. Salamander again. Yep. And Parrot Dragon and uh, Kaiser Dragon take a lot. I hope I'm I'm hope I'm right that that's the Kaiser Dragon. Uh, if I'm not, then I've been calling it the wrong thing this whole time, and everyone's there cringing in their seats, like, Stop calling it a Kaiser Dragon! It's the Ryush Jinjaka, or something like that, you know? Or it's the Gold Photon Dragon, or something, you know? Pretty sure it's Kaiser Dragon, though. Uh, let's see. Blue Medicine up! You gotta keep that Blue Medicine up! Never even heard of Blue Medicine. Is that an actual card? I, I want to know because I've heard of red medicine, you know. I'm sure it is, like everything in this game has to be a card, but I've never heard of it. It was always red medicine from the Legend of Blue Eyes set. Let's see, now we got Tiger Grass. Now we'll be able to kick the shit out of this thing, who finally stopped guarding once all his friends died. Not very, uh, not very helpful, are you, Cursed Dragon? Crushing X. And, yeah, oh, we'll have plenty to take out the Curse of Dragon. We've still got seven AP points between everybody. Not that we'll need them, this should probably do the trick. Which it does with 399 damage. And now, we totally wiped out that team. And everybody gained some levels, that's cool. Tiger X gained two by the looks of it. And now we can continue on. Now I gotta heal up uh, my team, of course, while as they travel. They're going traveling. And blue medicine. Yeah, might as well use it up. Red medicine on you, yeah, that's fair. Now we can go straight for that base. I believe, yeah, we have to attack both bases. Um, I believe so, anyways. I'm not sure, maybe it's only one base, but I'm attacking both just in case. There's no reason for me to go down there and attack the uh, bottom base. I think you gain monsters or something, or maybe not even that. Probably just somewhere to get like polymerization or something cool. Um, usually that's how it works. They have a good shop or something, a rare shop. Items. Okay, so now we're facing the officer's team that has a flame Cerberus 
gazelle king of mythical beasts and that Nick Hunter. Hunting Slice. I hate those things. I fucking hate them. High life points, high AP, annoying as hell. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a two. Unless I get a lot of criticals, I'm definitely gonna need to come back here and fight him again, but uh, let's see what kind of damage I can put out on these assholes. Bakori Box and Dark Magician attack Neck Hunter. And that's a total of 800 something. Whoa! 1600 plus critical and kills him off. That's awesome. Use the red medicine on Big Cory Box. He needs it. Flame Cerberus goes on guard, but Gazelle attacks with Leopard Claw, so I can just rain on his little parade. Right here and now. Let's get another critical. Let's just make it happen. That critical was intense. That was double. I'm going to do 800 damage. If Blue Eyes gets to attack after this, Gazelle is done for. This will be 500 something. 231. You can do 231, you're a blue eyes fucking white dragon. That's the least intimidating name I've ever heard. Abyss Fire. Always liked the Flame Cerberus, just not so much in 3D. The card looked much cooler than the actual monster, I feel. I find a lot of monsters are like that, they look cooler on the card art than uh, in actuality. We got 782. So this is probably not enough to kill off the flame servers. We need one more attack. We need one more. And he'll get his last one off on the Dark Magician number two. No big deal. It shouldn't kill him. Even with a critical. No. Nope. 439 left. So I kicked his ass. Cool. That's the main thing, right? And let's see, 857 damage, so now we are on to the last part of this. Let's see who gained what. Dark Magician went all the way to level 24, so now he's becoming a little more viable. That's good. Need just more defense so he can take more of a hit, that's all. Um, we'll send Mai down there, but he won't. she won't reach uh, there in time, that's for sure. Uh... I thought this video was kind of short, actually there was the first 20 minutes, this is actually a 46 minute recording, but the first 20 minutes I must have been doing something, because uh, it was just on the pause screen the whole time. But yeah, this mission is relatively short actually, it only took what, like 15, 20 minutes to fully do, uh, assuming I kick ass here, which of course I should, without issue. Where are we going to go after, the judge man first, get him out of the way. Battle Arts Claw on Flame Swordsman. Well, let's counter with, uh, of course, Salamander. That's gonna do a whopping 600 plus to everyone, except by the looks of that, the Armored Lizard has high defense because it was only 400. So let's tag a grass. Let's just get rid of. Oh, we're gonna do some damage to the Armored Lizard instead. Uh, Axe Raider is going to. Use a blue medicine on Flame Swordsman, make sure he stays alive. Play it safe still, don't get cocky, because, you know, you don't want to lose him. He's kind of our crux here. He's our, he's our linchpin. Uh, we're going to probably just salamander it up again. Probably won't kill anything with it, but... Uh, nope, but we got them down pretty, pretty low, so... Attack from anybody's going to kill the Judge Man. Hammer Justice on Tiger Axe. Doing pretty decent damage. Ooh, Crushing Axe. Uh, they really wanted to kill off Tiger Axe, didn't they? But they won't get the... Oh, damn it. They got the chance. And a critical. There's no way. They had four attacks in a row on Tiger Axe. That... Fuck. That really sucks. Um, kind of unfair, really, because they got to go four times in a row plus a critical. You know, like, how am I supposed to stop that? How do I prevent that? Um, not cool. 
Gonna have to do a revenge kill here. Salamandra will fucking kill the uh, armored lizard along with the uh, anacritical, so it kills them all off. So one hit, flame sword destroys the rest of the team. But now we have to let go of a level 64 tiger axe, and that fucking sucks, especially since he had items and ah, uh, well, sucks. Well, this should keep them off our backs for a while. I think so. I don't think Marek's unit has enough fight left in them to chase after us anymore. Ma, I've been meaning to thank you. I didn't come when you did. Well, I doubt we would have made it out of there. Alive. Now don't get going all soft on me. Listen to me, Ma. I don't care what it takes. We're going to get out of this game. I promise you. Okay. I know it's supposed to be a sweet moment, but I don't do sweet that well. Um, so yeah, polymerization, blue medicine, no gold because we suck. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the video, guys. We lost Tiger Axe, but overall not too bad. We'll have to choose the next guy. I don't know if I have another recorded video that I have to overdo. Find out here soon. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. This has been Griever with your Yu-Gi-Oh! Falsebound Kingdom Let's Play, the Joey campaign. Uh, so stay tuned for the next one, guys. Hopefully we don't lose anybody, and uh, eventually I'll get back on track uh, with the proper recording. So peace out.